Hey everyone, Brian and Jeff with Wrenches and Rides, and we have all the parts on the bottom end to make the 383 out of the small block Chevy 350 from this 1971 C3 Corvette behind us. Now to make a 383, you can go in a ton of different ways, but last video we showed you the upper end where we had a full roller hydraulic valve train, different heads. We went through, we're kind of really putting it to this motor. We're gonna almost double the horsepower output. Right, so we're not sparing any expense on it, which you can go in different directions, like you said. You don't have to go as expensive as we did, but there's many options out there. We want to pick out quality parts. We want to have a reliable motor. We want to have turnkey drivability. And a platform that we can build on in the future. And that's big. If we right. want to go to the strip with this car, we can rev the crap out of it. We're going to have it built right, done once. That's our goal. We're not going to do this twice. Right. Get it done, make what we want. Now. We went with a forged assembly on the bottom. Our goal, again, with the 72 cc heads was to get to a 10 to 10 and a half one compression. Right. 72 cc heads might be large for some people. A lot of people like to go with 64. Our case, this was a package kit that we got from TrickFlow, but the bottom end is all Icon pistons, I-beam rods, and we went I-beam instead of H-beam because our machinist said he didn't want to take much more out of the block. Right. And you can buy this whole Eagle rotating assembly in a kit. One single kit comes in a couple boxes. Everything's there. They have a lot of different options for you. You can go in so many directions. It's unimaginable. It's, it's more related towards price and power output. Yeah, we are middle of the road. We're not at the bottom and we not are definitely not at the top. But we, like we said earlier, have room for improvement. We can add on to this at any time. In our case, we are not using any of the bolts basically that this car came with. So we went almost completely with ARP bolts. It just seemed to make sense. It's a little more expensive, but how expensive is reliability? Cleaning everything up to make it look good when you're putting in new parts, especially bolts that are gonna be seen, it just, the, the cost of putting in the new bolts that are all stainless compared to cleaning something up, either repainting it or just getting it right, it made more sense that way. We have a few small things that we had to get with the Corvette. We have to stay low, so we had to stay with a specific quadrajet carburetor so we didn't have choke issues with the way that the air intake sits. We had to stay with the same type of distributor, distributor because of the manual RPM gauge. Weird, quirky Corvette stuff. Same with the water pump. We mentioned that before, you have to have it. Um, but we did do some things in this case for looks also. Where'd we go? We got down Wonderful. here, we have some valve covers. Those things are just kind of what I think is uber cool. Just little things to help set it off, personalize it. Those are our wire looms. Yep. We are Chevy not going back to how they put these wires in this car originally, running them underneath the horns. Plus we're adding headers, so it's not gonna allow that. Nope, we're just going crazy with some different pulleys, going with a aluminum pulley that's clear coated, trying to get some looks underneath the hood. It'll look great with our Be Cool radiator, some electric fans, just change it up. Yeah. Still have a matching numbers block, won't have to store the block in the corner. I think this is just kind of the way to go. Overall, if you want to look at what we're building, we have links to everything back at our website. So we'll have a link in the description to take you back there. You can figure this stuff out, price it out, figure out what you would do compared to what we're doing. Again, we're 450, 500 horse for where we're going to end up at the end. We still need enough vacuum to run the car behind us because almost everything everything's Everything runs off vacuum. Everything. So check out our website, check out all these parts. Let us know what you think about them. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.